Welcome to the next part of the module on Android services and the local interprocess communication mechanisms, which focuses on service to activity communication via the Android Messenger communication mechanism. In this part, we'll first explain how the Messenger generalizes the Hammer Concurrency Framework send message and handle message mechanisms to work across component and process boundaries. We'll also show how an Android Messenger object can be used by the download service to communicate the path name to the retrieved image back to the download activity, so the image can be displayed to the user. We'll focus on using messengers to send reply messages from started services to activities, though they can also be used to communicate with bound services. A messenger is a proxy that encapsulates access to a handler in a component, such as an activity or service, as shown here. A reference to a messenger can be passed to one or more components via some communication mechanism, such as in an extra to an intent. The receiver then generally does three things. First, it obtains the messenger, for example, by extracting it as an extra from the intent. Second, it performs some processing, such as retrieving an image from a remote server and storing it in a file on the device. Third, it uses the reference to the messenger to send a reply back to the handler in the activity even if the handler resides in a different process than the service. For example, the download service sends the path name to the image file back to the download activity. The message sent by the receiver is ultimately dispatched to the handler's handle message hook method. For example, the download activity will use the path name returned by the download service to display the image to the user. We'll now start delving deeper into how a messenger can be used to complete the download application, shown in earlier videos. There are multiple classes, objects, and processes involved in this application, so we'll analyze it from several perspectives. We'll begin by giving an overview and recap of the steps performed by the download activity and download service, focusing on the implementation of the service handler and download handler. The service handler's download image and reply method runs in a background thread and sends the path name to the retrieved image file back to the download activity. The handle message hook method of the download handler and download activity uses this path name to display the image to the user. The download activity performs several steps. It first creates the download handler and then creates a messenger that encapsulates a reference to the handler. Download activity next creates an intent used to start the download service. The messenger is passed as an extra to the intent, which also stores the URL for the desired image to download as data. Finally, download activity calls start service, passing the intent command as a parameter. This configuration of the download application runs a download service in a separate process, so the Android Activity Manager service launches the service, if it's not already running, and sends the intent across the process boundary. At this point, control shifts to the download service, which also performs several steps. It creates a handler thread and a service handler and queues the intent in the service handler's message queue. The handler thread then uses the underlying Android looper to dequeue the intent and dispatch the service handler's handle message hook method, which calls download image and reply to retrieve the image store it in a local file on the device, and return the path name of the file to the download activity by sending a message via the messenger passed in the intent. This message crosses the process boundary back to the download activity, where it's dispatched to the reply handler's handle message hook method. This method displays the image to the user. Now that we've given an overview of the steps performed by the download activity and download service, we'll analyze the source code, focusing on the methods in download handler and service handler that weren't covered in earlier videos. All this source code is available at this URL, which I encourage you to download and review as you watch this video. We'll start by recapping key portions of the download activity, which creates an instance of download handler that processes replies from the download service. The download image method dispatched in response to a button click from the user calls the makeIntentFactory method defined in download service. 
This method localizes the logic for making the right intent. In particular, it creates a new messenger that encapsulates a reference to the download handler and adds a reference to the messenger as an extra to the intent under the name messenger. The intent returned from make intent is then passed to the start service method, which runs the download service in a separate process, which is launched if it hasn't been started yet. This analysis of download service focuses on its download image and reply method, which retrieves the designated image, copies it into a local file, extracts the messenger stored as an extra in the intent, and passes the messenger and path name to the send path helper method. This method then calls the make reply message factor method to create a message that encapsulates the path name for the downloaded image file. In addition to storing whether the download succeeded or failed into the message, make reply message also stores the path name in a bundle, which is an object that maps string values to parsable types and can be used to pass data across processes, as shown here. The message returned from the make reply message factor method is then passed back to the download activity as a parameter to the send method provided by the messenger's reference. The Android binder framework collaborates with the Hammer concurrency framework to dispatch this reply message as a parameter to the download handler's handle message hook method in the user interface thread of the process where the download activity resides. This method extracts the bundle from the message and uses it to obtain the encapsulated file name. A check is then made to see if the download succeeded. If it did, the image file is decoded and the resulting image is displayed in the context of the user interface thread. Note how the use of started services, intents, messengers, and handlers enables the download activity to retrieve and display an image without performing any long duration operations that would block the user interface thread synchronously. In summary, messengers provide a flexible framework for intra and inter process communication between activities and services in Android. We showed how the download application uses a messenger to communicate a path name from the download service back to the download activity. This design is consistent with a common idiom used throughout Android, where an activity first creates a reply handler, next creates a messenger that encapsulates a reference to that handler, and then passes the messenger to a started service as an extra to an intent. When the service receives the intent, it extracts the messenger and uses it later to send a reply message back to the activity, where the message is delivered to the reply handler's handle message hook method. Although we focused on how a started service can use a messenger to reply back to an activity, it's also possible for a bound service to create a messenger that a client activity can use to pass messages to it. In this variant, the bound service creates a messenger that encapsulates a handler. It then returns a reference to that messenger via the service's onBind factory method, which is invoked automatically by the Android service framework when an activity calls bind service with an intent that's associated with that bound service. Regardless of whether messengers are used for activity to service communication, service to activity communication, or communication with bound or started services, they implement a variant of the active object pattern which defines the units of concurrency in a component to be requests for service, which in this case are the send methods calls on a messenger reference. This pattern allows these service requests to be handled in a different thread or process than the client thread that invoked the request, as discussed in upcoming videos. Messengers are best suited for relatively simple interactions between activities and services that pass relatively simple data types. When applications perform more sophisticated interactions, that involve more complex data types, it may be more appropriate to use the communication mechanisms based on the Android interface definition language, which we'll discuss later in this module.